Hi, I'm Albrecht Kahle. I do research on high energy astrophysical neutrinos using data from IceCube. The general idea is that neutrinos allow us to view the universe even at very high energies, their cosmic rays and gamma rays get obstructed by various mechanisms. To detect these energetic neutrinos, we build the IceCube Neutrino Observatory at the South Pole. It consists of more than 5,000 optical sensors within one kilometer cubed of clearest ice. At the top right, you see a muon neutrino event of 100 GeV energy with a vertex inside the detector. The muon travels to the left while it, while it leaves signals from Cherenkov flight in the sensors. This is slow motion, so obviously it travels with the speed of light. At the bottom right, you see an event with complex waveforms in the sensors. See here, these are strings. These are sensors, individual sensors. And uh, if you look here, these are the waveforms that are recorded from the photon signals. And you see this characteristic double pulse structure. So this double pulse structure was allowed us to identify this event as a tau neutrino. So where are we today? This slide shows the cosmic neutrino flux that we observed to date. It ranges from 10 to the 5 GeV from about here to about 10 to the 7 GeV. There are multiple data sets and multiple fits that characterize this flux. You can see here different fits. Uh, what, uh, what are open questions is how does the spectrum continue to lower energies? You see here in this range, we have no data, no, no, no reliable data on the diffuse flux. We, want, we are now working on improving the background rejection methods using veto strategies to measure this flux down to about a few TeV energy. At the high energy range, we are simply running out of statistics. Here, we need a bigger detector. Students and postdocs and scientists uh, and all faculty at BIPAC collaborate closely. Here, you see the projects that my current graduate students are working on. Several of them will be graduating probably within a year. For the future development, we are working on IceCube Generation 2. Yeah, this is IceCube, and this would be IceCube Gen 2. A detector an order of magnitude larger than IceCube and optimized for highest energy neutrinos. As you can see on the right, the penguins are already excited. Thanks for listening.